Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded uh, right triangle ABC along with this uh, median CD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, segment uh, AD length uh, equal to this segment uh, BD length. And moreover, uh, this median CD length uh, is being represented by X. And furthermore, uh, the blue triangle area has been given to us as uh, one square unit. And now our task is uh, to calculate the minimum possible uh, value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We know that this segment uh, AD length uh, equal to this segment uh, BD length. So therefore I'm going to label this segment length as uh, lowercase a. Then this segment length has got to be lowercase a as well. And furthermore uh, I'm going to label uh, this side BC length uh, as uh, lowercase b. Then we can see that this whole uh, side AB length is going to be A plus A is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, A. And now we know that this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC area has been given to us as 1 square units. So therefore let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase b. The height uh, of this uh, triangle is 2 times a. And the area is 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So 1 is going to be equal to a half times our base is b times our height is 2 times a. And here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2, they are gone. So therefore uh, we are ended up with uh, A times uh, B value is going to be simply 1. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BCD whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase a, lowercase b and the hypotenuse is uh, x. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right triangle. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, theorem. Our Pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case our hypotenuse is x whereas our two other legs are a and b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, b square is going to be equal to x square and now we can write uh, this equation as uh, x square equals to a square plus b square. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever and since we are interested in calculating the value of uh, x uh, for uh, minimum possible so therefore we are going to manipulate the right hand side. So therefore I am going to subtract uh, 2 times uh, a b and I'm going to add uh, 2 times AB at the very same time. And if we add uh, these two terms, uh, it uh, adds up to 0. And now we are going to focus uh, on this part of this uh, equation. A square plus B square minus 2 times uh, AB. And now let's recall this famous identity. A minus B whole square could be written as uh, A square plus B square minus 2 times AB. And we are going to apply this identity on this uh, part. So therefore uh, this part could be written as a minus b whole square. So therefore we could write uh, x square equals to a minus uh, b whole square. And plus uh, this part uh, plus 2 times uh, a b. And now let's focus on this equation 1. We know a times b value is 1. So therefore we are going to replace this uh, a times b value as 1 over here. So therefore we could write uh, x square equals to a minus b whole square plus uh, 2 times our a b value is 1. 
let's simplify furthermore so we are going to get uh, x square equals to a minus b whole square plus uh, 2 and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking uh, the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, this square and square root uh, undo each other so we are ended up with simply x uh, equals to and now let's focus on the right hand side of this equation and since we are interested in finding the minimum value of uh, x and we can see that this part uh, inside this uh, square root uh, must be equal to 0 and that is possible if and only if uh, a must be equal to b value so therefore the minimum possible value of x is going to be simply this part is uh, 0 and then uh, plus uh, 2 so thus uh, we conclude that the minimum value of uh, x is going to be equal to the square root of 2 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, the minimum possible value of x turns out to be square root of 2 units and that's going to be approximately equal to 1.414 uh, units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye